Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. What are you going to do if you're working on a addressable fire detection system and they requested you to add extra detectors but you run out of address? I'll give you some tip. This is the site I am working right now. I coated the job to install uh, around 13 detector but I found out that I ran out of address. So what happened was, they, they, I don't, didn't know that there will be a glass partition here, glass partition there. So there will be four rooms plus a meeting room in that corner. So all of them are partitioned. So that's why we need an extra detector according to the divisions. So that's where our problem begins. So if you have noticed, I already run my cables. Okay, these cables are on for addressable system. That means I took one reference point, which is somewhere there in the toilet as my reference point. So I run the cable around and ended up in the toilet as well as a loop circuit. Other than the offices, this is a storage room. I have to install two detectors as well in the storage room. Okay, so what is our solution to fix the problem of we're running out of addresses? This is why you need an extra address in the building. This is an open vacant commercial shop in the same building. You had no idea what will happen in the future that you require extra addresses for additional detector in here. So that's another thing to consider when you are freeing up some addresses in the fire detection system. Okay, so let's start working and finish the job. For my conventional detectors, I installed a loop responder. Okay, this is the LPRS of Petronics. So I have eight available input for a conventional detector. Maybe you're wondering why I got this eight one instead of just buying one single input for conventional detector. I already have a spare one, so I'd rather use this one rather than buying a new response, a new a single input conventional uh, module for smoke detectors. So this one, I already addressed that as 91. And then, so eight input plus one relay that will give you nine addresses. So I am now uploading the two new address for the addressable detector one for a conventional module plus two addressable sound there. So I'm uploading now the new program to the system. So it's still 
going. I have completed the job today, so everything looks good. So I installed all the required detectors. Yesterday, I don't have enough detectors, so I bought some today. And then also the loop responder, which is a spare loop responder that I have. And program, installed program, and then tested. So everything looks well. The detectors are all blinking, not like the other day when I introduced an M500M, which is not suited for the job. I hope you learned something today to install some conventional detector in an addressable system. This is Elmer, your pile protection guy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.